Okay, good evening everybody. Joined here by England manager Gareth Southgate. Ready for your questions. And we'll start with Simon Peach of the Press Association when you're ready. Hi Gareth, um, commiserations and, and thanks for an unforgettable month. Um, how do you sum it up and, and what have you said to the boys? Well, in terms of the players, um, they've given everything they, they could have, um, not only tonight but through the whole tournament. Um, they should hold their heads high. They've, um, you know, they're, they're a, a team who have pulled together, have given the country some incredible evenings. Um, but of course, tonight the devastation of getting so close and and not being able to give our country the trophy that we wanted to is is difficult to to put into context. Um, you can imagine how the dressing room is. So. Um, that, that of course is uh, is difficult to uh, to put into words at the moment. But yeah, in terms of the of the players, they've they've given absolutely everything, and I'm very proud of them. John Cross, Mira. Hello, Gareth. Uh, many many com commiserations. What what do you, how do you console the players? Because obviously it takes such courage to to take penalties, and then the feeling of desolation, I imagine, and desperation afterwards must be must be overwhelming for them. Yeah, but what what they have to know is that you know n none of them are on their own. Um, we win and lose as a team, and the penalty takers are my call. You know, we we've worked on them in training. Um, that's my decision. That's not uh, that's not down to the players. And um, tonight it, it hasn't gone for us. Um, but we we know they were the best takers that we had left on the pitch. We tried to get uh, th those players onto the pitch we'd already had to take a couple off during the, during the game itself um, so yeah of course it's uh, it, it, it's going to be heartbreaking for the boys but they they, uh, they are not they're not to blame for that that's my call as the coach Duncan Wright the son hi Gareth commiserations um, just, how are the lads I mean Bacleo in, in particular, he, he looked distraught on the whistle. It's, it's, it must be terrible for him to go through. Yeah, but it, it, he, he's not on his own. You know, he's um, he's such a super boy um, that is so popular with the whole group. Um, he's had an incredible tournament, been an absolute star, and he's he's going to continue to be a star. Um, and you know, he. Um, uh, it, tonight as well in a in a final performed exceptionally well when he when he came into the game so we've got to be there to support him um, we've got to be there to help him but I'm sure he, he will get a lot of love as well from outside because of what he's done already in this tournament and uh, how he's established himself and the way he, he carries himself. Alex Howell, BBC Sport. Hi Gareth, uh, just about the penalty takers. Um, so do you decide? on the night and how difficult is it to get the players onto the pitch without uh, disrupting the shape too much and were the five takers far away from your ideal five takers? No, we, we had uh, two that we'd had to take off earlier in the game yes, well, yeah. but um, that, that's why we made the changes that we did. Um, that, that's a process we've been through, we've tracked them um, what they've done with their clubs over a long period of time and um, and then what they've shown in training as well so that's the process that worked for us um, in Russia and in the Nations League and, and tonight it hasn't uh, it hasn't quite worked Sammy Mockbell Daily Mail Hi Gareth commiserations um, did you obviously spoke to the players in a huddle uh, after the game on the pitch could you just give us a, an insight into into what we said, what you said, what 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 players said as well. Oh, um, at the moment, the players are understandably, you know, really quiet. I mean, they've just had the the Dukes been down to see them in the uh, in the dressing room, and as um, you know, has rightly thanked them for what they've done and and been um, fulsome in his praise. Um, I just said to them that we 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 could have no recriminations. We uh, um, we win and lose together. Nobody is is left out on their own, and the, the calls for the penalties were mine. My decision, my decision to uh, to ask the players to take the the 
penalties that they did. Um, and so, you know, they, they've, they've got to walk away from here, heads held high. They've, they've done more than any other team in the last 50 or so years. So in, in terms of the players, they should be incredibly proud of what they've done. Tonight's hard, of course, because to get so close, you know, those opportunities in your life are, are incredibly rare. But, it, you know, credit to Italy. I think they've been outstanding the whole tournament. And um, the, the way they used the ball tonight was, was, was a little bit better than us. And I think um, they, were, they were strong enough in defence to, uh, to stop us really creating anything um, consistently on their goal. Dan Kilpatrick, Evening Standard. Hi, Gary. Uh, commiserations. Uh, you and some of the players have spoken before about the need to be living the moment a bit more. Is there a long period of reflection? Jerry Cox? Hi, Gareth. Can you hear me okay? Yes, I can, Jerry. Yeah. Um, um, Obviously, you haven't won the, the, the tournament, can, but can you see this tournament as a success, what England have done, what the players have achieved? Well, I think, I think in terms of the players, they, they, they should feel that way. Um, they've made history several times during the tournament. Um, they played so well in the first half of a final that you know, the expectation and the pressure was, was so high. Um, in the end, we haven't been able to keep the ball well enough in the in the second period of normal time, especially, and um, that in, that invited uh, more and more pressure. And that's something that um, yeah, we know we know uh, it, it's something that we have to be better at. And um, but the the time to analyse that in depth is 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 not at this moment, really. Um, uh, I think for for tonight, uh, my pride in what the players have done and the way they've carried themselves as a group and the way they've been with each other is immense. Matt Dickinson, The Times. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I right. go. Um, you've done so much to connect the team with the country, um, and so much has been talked about that. How, how confident are you that that does in, endure and, and last? You know, football crowds can be fickle, but do you think something has meaningfully changed? Uh, between that relationship um, well look i think I think we built strong bonds in in Russia, and I think um, that 's continued through this tournament so i don 't know of course tonight the the balloon is burst isn 't it, and um, the feeling around the country will be very empty i know and um, yeah and and, and, and that 's hard for it, for everybody to take. We wanted to give everybody one more night that would continue the biggest party ever. Um, we haven 't been able to do that, so um, but I hope that we 've given everybody some some incredible memories, and um, the players especially should feel very proud of what they 've done thanks Matt and we 'll finish with Javier Casiras hi Gareth. Um, I want to take you back to the beginning of the match where you uh, uh, and the beginning of the tournament to your letter to your open letter to the public uh, your players need the Italians did it as well uh, which they initially didn't do um, what will we from this uh, team throughout the next years sorry Javi we didn't quite catch it can you repeat your question once more Sorry, guys, we're going to have to conclude it there. Some connection issues. Thanks for joining us.